Some of the biggest social media scams you see right now usually ev evolve around having, getting your personal information, taking that information and convincing you that something is what it isn't. So for example, you'll see individuals putting out very personal information that can then be leveraged to either guess their passwords or through what we call phishing or vishing or any other type of ishing uh, scam that they will then try to convince you that they know who you are, you then know who they are, and you'll give away some information. A lot of social media scams start with getting information on the individual. So a lot of times the way that we're vulnerable is by putting out too much personal information and disclosing things like where we work, where we bank, those different types of things. You'll see individuals who are bad actors trying to use that information to either guess your passwords or to try to convince you that you have a relationship with them that you are unaware of. It's called spear phishing, where they'll take your information and they'll use it when they're trying to talk to you and get more information out of you. Some really common mistakes that you see a lot in social media is really just around disclosure of too much personal information. Things that can get out that individuals can use to identify you, to guess your passwords. So things like seeing a survey where, hey, let's all get together and talk about what our street name was when we grew up. What's your middle name? What's your mother's maiden name? What was your first pet's name? What's your favorite city to holiday in? Those types of questions, yeah, they can be innocent. And a lot of times they're just, you know, good fun between friends, but in the wrong hands, those can really be used to guess your passwords, get your confidential information and really can lead to identity theft. So the biggest thing I would say is be careful uh, be keep your network small when you're disclosing those types of information and make sure you know who's on the other end of the computer. And then keep things like banking information, financial information, contact information, and workplace information really kind of more in your social circle and not out to the broader group on Facebook, Instagram, whatever it may be.